This is a technique how to tune the carburetor from scratch, from the very beginning. Aluminium, uh, it fits. Yeah, this is good. Uh, yeah, I like the sound. This is how a properly tuned engine should sound like and react to throttle. And it's all about carburetor setting. Actually, having the carburetor set wrongly is the main reason for issues and problems with the engine, starting from having high vibration causing the exhaust to crack all the way to burning holes in the pistons or seizing the engines. In this video, I want to show you the very basic way to set your carburetor. It's not the way I do it every day, but it's the way I do it when I get a brand new engine or an engine that wasn't flown for a long while, or I go to a different place, a different altitude and different humidity and so on. This is a technique how to tune the carburetor from scratch, from the very beginning. We will do some few other videos how to adjust the carburetor if something smells fishy or wrong. I'm gonna refer to the low needle and idle screw primarily in this video. You have three settings, high needle, low needle and idle screw. Now let's assume your high needle is still sealed from factory. We will not touch that in this video. I want to talk about the low needle primarily. Standard setting according to the Vitorazzi manual is one quarter to one third open. That is fully closed and then open by 15 or 20 minutes if you take the clock. Now if you want to start from scratch then close it and open by 20 minutes. Stefan may I ask you to do that for me please? Well, what I immediately noticed, it's not right at this point. I want to show you the very basic way of adjusting it. The standard setting is 15 to 20 minutes, so you close it and then you open by 15 to 20 minutes, which is, which is one quarter or one third, until one third of a turn. And we need to find the sweet spot somewhere in between. The way we will do it, we will start at one third, that is 20 minutes open and then come down that means closing slowly slowly step by step until we reach the sweet spot now in between we'll have a little issue with the idle screw because the idle rpm is affected by two factors low needle and the idle screw so now i have the low needle open by 20 minutes i will start it and what i expect that the idle rpm will drop so I'll probably need to hold a little bit of throttle to keep it on reasonable idle RPM. Okay. So the very simple test you need to do, add throttle so, you, so I keep it at idle around 2000 RPM and I add throttle quickly and I see what's the reaction. So I was holding the throttle around 2000 RPM. I needed to add a little bit of throttle to keep it there, otherwise the engine was dying. And I add the throttle abruptly. Now if it reacts immediately and quickly, that's good news and we proceed further. So what we will do now is close it by one or two minutes a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Stefan, would you please close it? Let's say a minute, Let just, just a tiny little bit. We will do it in a few steps.
engine still reacts immediately. Next step, closing another minute. Still a good reaction. Another minute, please. So I hold the idle with the throttle and now add throttle quickly. Still good. Another minute, please. Now it sounds about right. Now it sounded pretty good and I didn't have to hold the lever anymore to keep it idling. So it seems like this would be the good setting, but to be sure, let's do one more step and that is close the low needle again. Stefan, may I ask you please? You see that? That was the point. So what I did, I added throttle abruptly and obviously the engine was a little bit like hesitating to rev up. It was almost dying. And, and when I added throttle slowly, it actually died. And this is the indication that we were closing the low needle step by step but I went a little bit too far because the engine was good. It was getting better, better, better. And now when we finally closed the low needle, it was already too lean and wasn't reacting to the throttle quickly and immediately. So final adjustment, one step backwards. That means open the low needle by one step. May I ask you, and we should be right then. Let's see if it is. Sounds pretty good to me. The reaction to quick throttle was okay. Now let me try slowly. It idles a little bit too high, but I'm not, I'm not worried about that part. What I want to see is how it reacts to the throttle. We first need to reduce the idle RPM a little bit to see, to actually keep it on idle. Yeah. Because it was revving probably around 3000 or even more than 3000 RPM. So the test is not accurate because I'm adding throttle and it reacts, but I'm not all the way at the idle RPM. It's, it's like I've already added a little throttle before with the idle screw. So would you please reduce the idle RPM a little bit? That's the screw with the spring. It does not affect carburation. It only affects the minimum, like a stopper for the throttle. Yeah, I was wondering if I feel a little hesitation, but it's probably okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's okay. I was adding throttle quickly and the engine reacted. I was adding throttle slowly and the engine reacted. Now, right now we are at the 
very very edge of the good settings right now it works fine and i would be perfectly able to go flying and it would run run nicely recap how to set the carburetor from scratch you warm up the engine first then you close the low needle all the way in and open by 20 minutes that's where you start from this point we will be slowly closing it step by step with one minute only each step one minute on a 60 60 minute clock now you close it you you hold it at idle somewhere around 2000 rpm and you abruptly add throttle if it reacts stop the engine close it a little bit again and repeat and you keep closing it and trying abruptly at throttle until it stops to react when it stops to react immediately and it has a hesitation or even dies on your back when you add throttle quickly that means you went already too far kill the engine and go one step backwards and then your low needle is set you know you are on the very edge of the good settings that's the right thing so now that the low needle is adjusted the motor is reactive and it runs nicely it is time to adjust the idle screw that's the screw that will set the minimum rpm when i let the throttle go now when i was adjusting step by step sometimes i had to hold a little bit of throttle to keep it somewhere around 2000 rpm we don't want that we want the sc idle screw to be set correctly the motor right now runs runs pretty fine I, I don't have a rpm sensor installed in this machine but i guess it's somewhere around 2000 to 2200 which is according to the vitorati manual i prefer to have it a little bit higher to rev somewhere around 2000 to 2400 when the engine runs a little smoother and i will show you how it sounds would you please increase the rpm for me Yeah, this is a little better. This is somewhere around 2400, I guess. And this is how I like to have it. So I would keep this for flying, but I want to show you how it sounds when it's too low. Would you please just open the idle screw? Yeah. So you've seen that the motor is reactive, the low needle is fine, but yet it idles a bit too low. It, it was a bit rough, it was, uh, it was shaky and I felt the vibrations and it wasn't that smooth. So this is how the engine sounds when the low needle is tuned right, but the idle screw is too little. So you need to close the idle screw by about 15 minutes from this point and you will get it right. So for the final shot of this video, let's have a sound of a good tuned engine again. Thank you. Yeah, this is how I like it. Yes, perfect, perfect. React to quick throttle, react to slow throttle. Idle is nice and smooth, continuous RPM on the idle, doesn't oscillate. Yeah, this is a well-tuned carburetor. Guys, I hope you find this video helpful and it will solve your problems. We'll have some other videos regarding carburetion troubleshooting, what to do when you have specific symptoms. Please watch those videos as well. Thank you very much. Enjoy your scout and have fun in the air. So all the bolts are screwed in.